How's it going today, folks? Today, I am pretty excited because we're getting into a new series, specifically uh, Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil with Marco Cicchetto. And uh, this series, from start to finish, it is perfect. It is one of the best written series for a character since, like, The Immortal Hulk by Al Ewing. It is probably one of my favorite runs of all times. And that's saying something because I have a lot of favorite runs of all times. Uh, but, you know, it's Daredevil. Daredevil usually means quality because he's pretty much the most consistently greatest written character of all time since, like, the 80s. He's had pretty consistently good runs, and it's pretty great. This run in particular is just absolutely perfect. Now, to do a little uh, background here, this uh, run happens after the events of Charles Soule's run where uh, Daredevil gets hit by a freaking bus and is knocked out and has to go through like a lot of surgery and stuff. So if you don't know what's happening, that's the reason why he's kind of weak in this series. But uh, let's just get into it right now. So after the whole, you know, getting hit by a bus events, uh, Matthew Murdock, who's Daredevil, is kind of like going through the hoops trying to heal and stuff like that. So the first thing he does is, as per usual, hook up with some chick at a bar. Uh, Daredevil does this a lot. He just, he's a bit of a whore. He's a bit of a man whore. So he kind of does this a lot, just hooks up with random ladies. So he does that. He feels better afterwards. And then he goes out to, uh, you know, stop some crime, stop some uh, villains. And the first thing he does is uh, he sees a group of people trying to break into a store. So he goes, he fights them. It doesn't really go as well as he hoped for because he's still healing and his body isn't 100% yet. So he kind of gets beat up. But, you know, he manages to beat them all. But unfortunately, he accidentally kills one of the burglars and runs away. So now the cops are on his ass. And while this is happening, a new cop called Detective uh, Cold North, who came from Chicago, is also after Daredevil, Daredevil because he doesn't like uh, superheroes. He doesn't like vigilantes at all. So he's on his ass as well. And so Daredevil, originally thinking that he didn't actually kill the guy, it was uh, all Fisk because uh, Wilson Fisk, he's now the mayor of New York. Just to let you guys know, a little backstory there. Now he's the mayor of New York and he's outlawed all superheroes, no vigilantes or anything. So uh, that's pretty bad. So he thinks that uh, Fisk is the one who killed him. So he goes to like the doctor where uh, the guy died. And he's just like, who did this? Did Fisk, did Fisk do this? Did Fisk set me up? And the guy's just like, no, he was dead before we could ever operate on him. It's your fault, dude. So uh, Daredevil is realizing this. He's like, oh, damn it. And while he's leaving, uh, the de detective Cole North f finds him and uh, chases him. So there's this pretty cool chase scene where Daredevil tries to get away. And then he's shot in the shoulder. And, you know. He, the cop tries to arrest him, he manages to kick uh, Cole off and run away and try to disguise himself. That doesn't work out. And so finally, after running and stuff like that, the two uh, decide to face off Cole and Daredevil. And it's pretty great. Not for Daredevil, but definitely for me because the art is absolutely astounding. Marco Cicchetto, who uh, does most of the art for this series, is on his A game in this series. It is absolutely great to look at. So they fight, and Daredevil loses because he has a bullet in his shoulder, unfortunately. And so he's nearly arrested until the Punisher comes along and saves his ass. And uh, the Punisher is basically just like, hey, now you've seen the light, you know that we need to kill bad guys and shit like that. And Daredevil's just like, no, that was an accident. I didn't want to kill him. And Punisher's just like, nah, you wanted to kill him, just like me. I'm a killer too. The Punisher also captured this guy who's part of the Owl's gang. The Owl is just like a gang member who looks like an owl and eats people. He's weird. But uh, yeah, he captures this dude and is trying to find out where the Owl is uh, hiding at. And uh, is going to kill him afterwards, obviously, because this is the Punisher. Daredevil's just like, no, you don't have to kill him. It's the, you know, he could change. And the Punisher's like, oh, okay. And then sets him free. But unfortunately, the guy picks up one of the Punisher's guns and tries to kill him. So the Punisher shoots him in the head. That was pretty funny. So uh, that pissed off Daredevil enough to get out from his wrappings because the Daredevil strapped him down to a bed while he was uh, taking out the bullet from his shoulder. And the two fight. Uh, Daredevil manages to get that upper hand. And we have this really freaking cool scene where Daredevil... Daredevil was just like with like two guns. It's just like, listen, if I were if I were like you with guns and everything, I would be absolutely devastating to like the entire criminal population. That's why I'm not doing it. You may be a demon, Frank, but I'm the devil, and it's just it's so sick to look at. It's probably one of the coolest Daredevil lines ever. So uh, he manages to knock out the Punisher and steals his shirt and runs away. The first thing he does is go to the Owl's base and uh, beats up all the guys who are like drug running. 
But uh, unfortunately, he gets uh, ambushed by a dozen guys. He tries to fight them off, and it looks really sick. But luckily, his friends come around. Uh, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage, they come around, and they help him out. And it's pretty cool. And after it, they uh, bandage him up, and he's just like, Listen, guys, thanks for all doing this. You guys could uh, send me in now. You could take him to jail. And they're like, Dude, we're not taking you to jail. We've all killed someone before. Like, it's just part of a good job. And Daredevil was just like, what? You've killed people? We're all murderers. We're freaks. We're weirdos. And, then, and I'm just like, you wear, you realize this now? You wear a devil costume and you go out to fight bad guys. Now you're realizing you guys have issues? Anyway, um, he leaves and he goes to his apartment. But uh, Spider-Man is there. And Spider-Man is just like, yeah, you're out, Daredevil. You've been, you've been sloppy. You're killing people now. You're fighting cops. You're sloppy. You can't, you can't do this anymore. And just basically tells him that. If he ever tries to do this again, all of uh, his friends would uh, try to take him in the next time. And uh, Daredevil agrees, so he gives Spider-Man his uh, shirt, his mask, and cries like a little bitch. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. This one it was absolutely great. The five issues of the first volume, and it's absolutely great. The art is great, and it's setting up for some pretty cool things in the future that we will get into next time. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to tell you about the second volume. See ya!